All right, so we have arrived to step number six, which is the last step of this tutorial where we are going to implement a view to show our report that you can export to PDF or comma separated values, Excel, Word, you name it. Um, also, we are going to add a cookie consent dialogue at the very end of the video. That's super, super simple to do. So um, make sure not, not to miss out on that part. All right, so let's create a new view. Let me close all these files. A new view called report view. This is mapped to slash report and it extends. Vertical layout is fine. Now we need a constructor here and we're going to add some components mm, a new title actually maybe we don't need the title here you'll see why in a moment um, but by the way what we need is to specify the roles allowed admin very good so now Alejandro and Maria can access this view um, very good so we need to create a report Here's how you, how to do it. It's also very, very simple. So let's create a new print preview report of books. And this uh, class comes from the report UI component in the Vadin directory. And then we can specify the columns that we want to show there. The col columns are actually the properties the name of the properties here. So let's say we are not interested, for example, in showing the ID, but only these three, title, published, and rating. So we can do that. Title, published, and rating. This is a report. Mm. And uh, it doesn't show any data, right? We need to connect it, or we need to set the data there. And for that, we need the backend, which is the book service. This is how we access uh, the backend. Now, um, report has a method called set items. And we can pass here all the items. So service.findAll. So we want a report with all the... Um, um, all the books. Now this is failing because I'm returning a collection here, but I know I can return a list instead and it should work. Um, list. So now it should compile. Now with this, actually we should get the report when we go to slash report. Let's check that that's true. And we don't need two windows here anymore. go to the report view and it's loading I guess the stuff there we go so we have all the books that we have created before that come from a database and you can configure these um, reports you can add uh, charts you can um, uh, add sub reports you can use uh, Jasper reports to do it this is uh, using um, an API call, called uh, dynamic Jasper so for example, um, let's say we want to, um, I don't know, um, set the title, books. So with that, and there, there are many other options there with uh, Dynamic Jasper, but I'm not gonna go through, through that. But if you now, oh, I didn't add the title for some reason. Maybe I didn't compile. I think I, I actually compiled. Uh, but let's see. There might be a bug maybe. Uh, maybe I should restart the application. Let's try that. And if, if that doesn't work, then we can just continue. Uh, but let's see. So uh, this is part of the Jasper re dynamic Jasper. Um, API 
Let's see, I hope it works. Uh, okay, it's not, it's not really working for some reason. Uh, this set title uh, method here. I wonder if it's a, if it's a um, bug or, or what's going on. Anyway, <laughs> I think I'm gonna leave it like that. Uh, if you find the solution to this, please let me know in the comments section. Um, but it's how easy to add a report. Now, let's say we want to export this to PDF, for example. That's also very easy to do. So we need to call report dot get stream resource and the file name is gonna be let's say report dot or books books dot pdf then we need to specify a supplier of books and that is service dot find all but we can use a method reference here so it looks nicer and uh, we need to specify the format and there are many many formats format pdf csv docx etc so let's use pdf here and let's call this pdf all right uh, in fact we could do the same for example for comma separated values i'm copy pasting the code here but i guess you can imagine how it how to do it, for example, by iterate, iterating over all the values, right? All the values of format, and then creating all the formats uh, if you want, or create a method that you just specify the format and it creates uh, the rest automatically. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it like this, just um, because this is a demo, I guess. And here we have we have a vertical layout, so maybe let's create a new horizontal layout, which is kind of a, a toolbar, if you wish, with all the the buttons for exporting the uh, um, the uh, their report. And here we need to create new anchors. So this accepts um, an abstract stream resource, which is what we got there. So for example, for PDF, it was called PDF. This one. Maybe it's not it's not it's not a good idea to use var here, by the way, because you don't know where it is, right? It's probably it's better to to leave it like that. Yeah, much better. Um, and then you can specify a text so PDF. And the same for CSV. CSV here also. Mm, we need to separate these. Um, with comments and I guess I guess that's all you need to do to export let's see if it works so PDF okay I need to authenticate PDF now the browser opens uh, the PDF but you can of course save it and comma separated value we can open it outside the browser let's see if it contains all the information there we go all the books are there oh, for some reason the title is here so you know what i think it's happening here it was a cache issue from the browser because now we have it here <laughs> all right there wasn't any bug there that's good to hear and uh, there you go uh, that's how you can create um, a report but i promise i would add some something special here very quickly remember the home view which is public this one here and before anything else i'm gonna actually remove any any uh cookies here just in case i have used this before but here's the the, uh, the home view and we want to add a cookie consent dialog which is required in, in some uh, places for example here in europe and with that, it's so easy to do. So cookie, consent, compile. That's really it. New cookie consent, and you get it here automatically. And it says this website uses cookies to ensure you get the best experience. A link to more information. Got it. Now I can use the app um, and deploy it legally <laughs> just by adding one line of code. 
All right, there we go. We have completed this amazing application in very little time. I don't know how much time I used, but uh, I believe it's not that much. And it's impressive what you can do in such a short time with Spring Boot and Vadin, two amazing frameworks. And of course, all of these thanks to uh, the Java programming language, which I have to say it's my favorite programming language. So I hope you liked the um, uh, tutorial. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, follow the channel and I'll see you in the next video.